This video is intended for your FedEx ground hazardous shipments. Be sure that your mill mode is 5 and that you have your pieces entered. From here you can click on the indicators button. Select your DG-2. Make sure you enter your name and title and then your UN number. Click on next. Ensure your packaging paragraph matches the regulation that you are utilizing to certify your hazmat shipment. Enter your type packing and net quantity. Enter your metric hazmat quantity. Hazmat quantity unit of measure type. Select net. Number of identical containers, one. Save it. Select OK. And then go back to your shipment planning screen. Express ship. Enter your carrier. Select your service. Make sure you select the proper shipping label format. For training purposes, I'll be selecting laser so I can view my shipment. Select the hazardous information tab at the top. Fill in number of packaging units, which is just one. Container type. And shipment details. Go ahead and send off your request. Information is returned from GFM. Next up, we will go to Print Express Documents. Go ahead and print your shipping label. Your military shipping label is no longer printed in conjunction with the carrier shipping label, so you will have to print it from your pieces screen or you will have to print from the tools, reports, and printed product shipping label. You'll also notice for FedEx ground hazardous shipments that the OP900 is showing the status as available. So you can also print that. You will also need to print your OP950 once you have closed out the carrier stack for the day. So once you have released your shipment, this will become available to you. If you would like to see how this is printed, please ensure you see the Small Package Express Documents training video. This concludes the training on FedEx ground hazardous shipments.